Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Super Smash Brothers. We're about to start the one player game on hard mode with Captain Falcon. Now, Captain Falcon is an unlockable character. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before I say so, anything, uh. You might be wondering why there was no, uh, review yesterday. Well, that's because I didn't really have anything to review. And I, I, I don't want to get this confusing or anything, so I just decided to, uh, skip it. Sorry if that bothered anyone. So, Captain Falcon is an unlockable character. He's pretty easy to unlock. Uh, how you unlock him is basically you have to beat a one player game in 20 minutes or less. That's a pretty easy thing to do. Oh boy. Show me your moves! That's his taunt. Yeah, I'm gonna use the black cat and falcon. And so. See, he's definitely the second easiest character to unlock. Because Jigglypuff is also really easy. So, my experience with any F Zero games, uh, I don't think I've really ever played an F Zero game, except for the masterpieces on Brawl. That might be the only time I've ever played an F Zero game. So yeah, I don't really have any like nostalgia with him or anything. But he just has some pretty good moves. And um uh, Yeah, something something you might know in uh Smash Brothers Melee and Brawl, there's like a character that was kind of like really strained and didn't put it. Hey! Come on! Uh, like, uh, like, was really strange. Like, in Melee, they had Mr. Game a lot, which is, like, really weird. Like, I don't think anyone was expecting that when that was announced or revealed or whatever. Come on. Ah, oh, why am I getting this destroyed? By the Yoshi team. And, and... Smash and Brawl, uh, the, the, I think it's called the WTF character, was Rob, of course. I think Rob's a little less absurd because that was actually peripheral for a famous console. Game and Watches were kind of like, obscure. But they're both very strange. In this game, it's sort of unclear. There are three candidates. Captain Falcon, Jigglypuff, and Ness, I think, are all kind of strange. Well, well sort of. I expected it to be Ness, but my friend actually told me at three different times, three different answers. At first he said it was Captain Falcon, because, like, he never appears outside his ship. At least in the original f and maybe the, the one for the 64. Run! Not doing very good at all. I didn't expect it to do very good. Come on! Ha! There you go. Finally got a taunt or a fighty fighter stance in. But the, he said, "Yeah, Captain Falcon was the, the WTF character because you never really saw him in the game except for a couple screenshots." But then later he said, like I said, oh yeah, WT character in this game was the Captain Falcon, right? And he said, no, it's Ness. And I'm like, oh, okay. And then later he said that it was uh, Jigglypuff, because, well, I don't know why he didn't really give an explanation. See, Captain Falcon, uh, I'm not really, like, I want, my love, or my, um, liking for him didn't really begin in this game. It began in Smash Brothers Melee. It's gonna sound a little weird. But Captain Falcon actually had a clone. Wait. Oh, I see how you get it. You have to punch the wall. Okay, I thought, I thought, like, I thought those were like impossible to get without um, 
getting yourself stuck up there. Oh, you gotta be able to jump under it. Come on. Oh, jeez. Okay, there we go. Uh, he actually had a clone character, like I said before, that like, uh... No! One target left, and I missed it by an inch. Uh, he had a clone character, and his clone character is kind of weird. It's actually Ganondorf. I don't know how... I, I guess, like, they really wanted Ganondorf to be in Melee, and they couldn't think of a moveset for him. So they just decided to rip off Captain Falcon, or like, they have to release it, because I'm pretty sure it was a launch title. And they couldn't, uh, like, they just had to re-, or re uh, you know, just copy Captain Falcon's moveset. And I'm really good with Ganondorf in Melee, and Brawl, I'm not so good. Hey, you destroyed my mind. Out, getting blown up. Cat Falcon guards punches with his foot. Hey! Hey. Oh no! Get it. Okay, good. Uh, so yeah, his moves, uh, B is the famous, his B, freaking Luigi. Don't say I'm not gonna lose. His B is the famous, that was not right. His B is his famous, and I actually killed him. So yeah, his B is the Falcon Punch, a very slow attack, which isn't very accurate, but it's very, very powerful. Probably one of the most, the strongest... Uh, move in the game, like standard. No, what am I saying? Probably Luigi's up B is the strongest. And then this rest and Luigi's up B are probably the three strongest moves in the game. So yeah, the, pack, the Falcon Punch, uh, it's, it's just the fact that it. Jeez. Oh boy. Oh my god. What is going on? He has three percentage when I have... Oh my god! I'm a big chance to make a comeback, but now I'm probably gonna die to Pikachu. Yeah! Falcon Punch for the win, baby. See, that is a really powerful effect. In later games, it's even slower. I'm not sure if it's more powerful or not. So yeah, very powerful attack, very useful. So yeah, his down B is a Falcon Kick. I don't know where he uses these moves or where they got uh, origins for them. I remember it's uh, the main, the Cat Falcon is from F Zero, which is very. Uh, popular game for the Super Nintendo because it utilized the most seven graphics very well. I've never actually really played it, as I just said. Yeah! I love that Falcon Punch! It's so powerful! I'm not sure if you can do this in this game, but in the other games, you can do like a 360 turn if you press back at the right time. I don't think it does anything, it's just kind of cool. And it's not, it's, I'm pretty sure it's not just turning around, it actually does do that. Okay, I don't think you can do it. I mean, I'm not very good at it, but uh, it's not too hard to do. Oh, well, that one's gonna be tricky to get, okay. Wait. I guess the arrow has to go this way. Seems quite illogical. Come on. What? 
I like can barely not jump that high. Like just barely. Oh boy. That needs to death. Oh, you can't get back up right there. Run. Run! I kinda wanna re-download this, but I know I'd never play it after this. Ah! Oh. Ah! Whatever. I was probably gonna fail anyway. That one's pretty difficult. So yeah, uh... Okay. Okay. His moves... Uh, uh, what am I repeating myself? I always seem to do that. Yeah, his down B, the Falcon Kick. Uh, it's a kind of useful move. It's not very useful. It's probably his worst move. But I still kind of like it. Go! So awesome since there's a cup falcon Kirby here. Because that is one of the coolest uh Kirby's and also Oh come on. I don't die in the entire thing so far, and then I like die so early on in the Kirby team. So I found kick it's a pretty powerful attack and it goes pretty far. But it can kind of, like, launch you off of ledges. And if you use it in the air, it, like, kind of goes down. Show me your moves! So yeah, it's not a very good move, but it's, it can be useful. You and you. Come on! Hey! Yeah! I'm glowing and I'm mad. Oh, yeah, something up. Uh, for some reason, when I was little, I always thought Captain Falcon was from the Metroid series. It, I think the only reason I know that, or I thought that, was because um, when you unlock him, the stage you fight him on is Samus's stage. This stage. So it's kind of weird that he's like, for like Ness and pa Captain Falcon, who are the only two characters who don't have a a stage in their theme. Lucky. I guess it's your turn to do thing. See, his up B, um, I don't know what it's called or what it really is, but he kind of jumps up and glows and stuff. Oh boy. And if you hit anyone with it, uh, at the right time, that's an epic ending picture. He's like doing a epic stance. But if you, uh, if you gra if you hit someone with it at the right point, then they, you can grab them and like kind of blow them up. Not really blow them up, but... Like that. On. Come on, Mario, you such a jerk. And you're annoying. My face. Hey. 
Hey! He should be able to use special moves or run. He's already, like, really powerful. Yeah! Show me your moves! Oh, wait, you're dead! I didn't get speed, too? That was actually pretty fast. Well, for Metal Mario, at least. I guess speedsters are always the same. Is it even possible to get speedster on fighting polygon team? See, his up B is a pretty useful move, but, uh, I do like him more than Falcon Kick. That's dumb. Um, it can be pretty powerful, and, uh, it does help you jump a good ton. It is a very good jumping move, and it's also very powerful. Kind of like Luigi's. Oh, whatever, finish it. But punch me in the face, or chi, that's Samus. Girl, what is he doing? He looks so awkward. The Cat Falcon is a very um, good character, and so far I've been doing really good with him. Hey. Oh, yeah, that, like, the guy I said was Ness, um, I'm not so sure about that. The guy with the pointy nose and the kind of... That guy. No, not that guy. Um, the, the guy just appeared. It's kind of hard to see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah! He's got the pointy, um, top. He looks very strange. Um, I swear, I saw him do Mario's taunt where he, like, grows. Like, just a do 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 and I swear he did that, so I, it might just be random for some for some polygons. His polygons are out for blood. They're killing their own kind, and I'm just killing myself. Ugh! So close. We were so close to Venom. It's all because of bombs. CDI, curse you! You and your so bad it's good memes. Well, I guess I'm not good. Ow. Pokeball! Hey. hey! Come on! No! Hammer! Oh, come on! What? I. Th oh my god! I'm not even like halfway through with this! Stop doing that! I'm not even halfway through this, and I've lost two lives. What the heck? If I die like this, if I die in this match, I'm going to... Go. Turn into a capsule? Oh boy, bomb. Bombs are so deadly in this game. It's like ridiculous. No! <sighs> no! I think these guys might be tougher than the Yoshi team. No, no. Did I just trip? Oh boy. Tripping. Yeah, and Brawl, they for some reason made it so you can trip. I died to the last one again! Ah, why does this keep happening? 
I died to the last polygon. At least I didn't get a game over. Ugh, I hate when that happens. What the heck was that? How could I have possibly lost three lives to that one match when I was doing, like, so good before that? Ugh. All right, one life. If I get a game over, especially if I if he has one percentage left. Oh boy. One of his attacks is the middle finger. Get closer to that. Ow! No! Why does he have so much knockback? No! 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 Oh my God. No! No! I can't believe I got a game over! What the heck is going on? That was the path- You think I was playing on- You think I was playing with my worst character on very hard? Oh my god! I can't freaking believe that! That is one of the most enraging things I've ever seen! Oh my freaking god! I had four lives going into the semi-final match, and I lose all four of them in the last two matches! That is freaking dumb! Oh my freaking god! I am so mad right now! I was having such a good run. I was doing fantastic. And then I just completely get demolished in the last couple minutes. Oh my god. I can't think. This is just so freaking insane. What is going on? How can I lose three lives to one match and then stupidly lose a fourth one to this final match. I can't believe how enraged I am. Oh my. Suck it. Cheap shot. This game is a cheap shot. What the heck are you trying to tell me? This is me banging my head on the controller. You for Ugh, I can't freaking believe this! What the heck? Ugh, I can't believe I was three lives to one match and ah! And I have to do very hard, don't I? I don't have to. If I did so Pathetic at that. See you guys next time for very hard on mess.
Yes! 